This video shows how to implement simple worker threads with queue in Python. So first we have to import these modules time, threading and queue from queue module. Then at this line I have created a queue. So that is a global variable. Then here I have created a variable num worker thread equal to 2. So because I am going to use two worker threads, so that is why I have created this variable with value 2. Then this is the worker function. So basically, this function we can see a while loop here. So this function uh, get item from the queue in a while loop if that uh, queue is empty it wait so basically this line queue this queue is this global queue global variable queue the same thing queue dot get so basically this line take the item from the queue if item if queue is empty so this line will wait okay so if item is there in the queue it take the item from the queue then if item is not none it call do work the do work is the function which basically do the which basically process the message in the queue so if item or message is none it call queue dot task done So if, if if once we complete the processing of message, that time also we call q dot task done. Okay, that is the worker function and the function which process the message. Then here, basically, I create worker threads. So here I have given number of worker thread is 2. So I have to create two worker threads. Okay. So here I just iterating to the range function. Then here I create a thread object with target is, is equal to worker. This worker is the name of the function which we defined here. The same thing. Okay. So this line in this line I create a worker thread then I call thread dot start then just I just append the worker thread in a list so basically this list I am not using right now so this all line create a create two worker thread and start it that's all okay then at this line I am pushing messages to the queue so these are the messages a double a double b double c these are the messages so each message I put into the queue that is this for loop is doing then at this line so if you want to stop the worker here what I am doing is I just put none to the queue so when I put none to the queue what happens so this worker the worker function get the none here from the queue so if message is then message is none basically it break the while loop and exit from the thread so this line I used to stop the workouts then this line just I just want to see the number of running threads so let me execute this code to first import all the required modules then create a queue this is a, this is a global variable then initialize number of threads 
then define this function worker function then define this function which process the message then at this line I am going to create the worker threads so when I execute these lines so basically it start executing this function and in this while loop it print this line waiting for the message then it come here and just wait because initially there is no message in the queue okay so let me execute these lines so you can see it's waiting for message basically it created two threads you can see the thread id here so at this line you can see here i am print taking the thread id using threading dot get underscore indent method okay you can see the it's created two threads with id this and this okay now it's waiting at this line two threads are waiting at this line so let me push some messages to the queue so i am going to execute this for loop to push messages to the queue see now you can see messages message received then processed it then next thread thread is ending 16 it's received the message b then processed it then you can see it's processed processed then waiting then process uh, received message c and processed it okay then at the end it again when went to the waiting state so at this this stage if you print number of threading uh, number of running threads just call this function threading dot enumerate there you can see the thread so you can it actually created two threads right this 20 ending with 20 and ending with 16 you can see that two threads here so we can, if you want to put the message again just execute this for loop again let me execute again see it's processed all the messages then went into waiting state so if you want to kill kill that workers just push this none to the queue so i am going to push none to the queue see now you can see message received which message none so two threads received none so it's exit from the uh, this while loop okay so at this point if you run this function enumerate again you could not see these two threads let me run see now those two threads are not there so this way we can implement worker threads with queue in python this is just a simple example so if you want to see the documentation you can see it here just go to this URL. Actually, it's explained it here how to use it. And that example, the same example, you can see it here. Okay.